After the ocean swallowed Atlantis, and before recorded history, there was an age when mythical kingdoms spread across an uncharted world. This was the age of Conan. Enslaved as a boy, Conan grew into a warrior. He escaped to encounter mystery, magic, and myth, while forever facing the ultimate master of sorcery. Lover, friend, hero. His destiny was to free the oppressed and become a king by his own hand. Conan. See how easy it is. To find Conan, one must simply follow the trail of dead soldiers. You are certain that Conan did this? Who else has fought Gesazu with uh, such aggressive vengeance? Gerald, what are you waiting for? His fear binds him to that tree. Nonsense. I only want to make certain that we are not acting too soon. Really? And wait till Hisazul discovers a village in his treasury? We have not the time. I did not take that much. <laughs> A brilliant defense. Tell that to the executioner. Oh. We will be butchered. That is why we must find Conan. <laughs> Bit the hero that I heard he was. He will have to be. And his compatriots, they also do quite well. May I remind you, we come not to praise him, but to use him. Was I dreaming? No, I saw it too. And I as well. A conjurer's illusion. Child's play. Please. <gasps> you have no need for that. We come as friends. My friends do not use magic. 
We were trying to help you. Yes, yes. We wanted you to succeed. Crom and my sword help me to succeed. Who are you? I am King Jero of Shem. You have, no doubt, heard stories of me? I have, but not good ones. And you? I am the Emperor Norbu. Of the Black Kingdom? Obviously. And I am King Panor II of Ruel. At your service. A king bows to me? The first of many, if we work together. Three kings, all wizards. What do you want from me? You are fighting his Azul. We seek to help you. We too have grown weary of his tyranny. Since when? You also part of his power? No, more like his servants or his prisoners. You have shown us that his yoke can be broken. You have weakened him. And now you wish to change sides. Will you accept us? Will you let us show you the way? You are all wizards, the same as his Azul. It is true, but how else can you defeat a wizard? unless you accept the services of other wizards. Together, we can bring him down, you and us. And when it comes to the fight, what weapon will you carry? Our weapons may be spells and potions, but rest assured, we can be very useful warriors. The key to our plan is to seize Argus, his castle, then his Asu. That is why he moved his castle. That is where his power is. Then we will go there. Let's see how well you fight. The master. My best troop of men can't stop Conan. I ought to execute the lot of them. The execution of your soldiers is a luxury you can no longer afford. Uh, how dare you tell me what I can or cannot do. As an oracle, it's my duty to tell you what I see. Mm. And what is it exactly that you see? Norbu, Paynor, and Garo. They all plot against you. They stole from me. They must be punished. Your armies fight theirs, and you leave yourself weakened. Your very home here in Argos could be threatened. I'm strong enough. I guarantee it. I admire your certainty. Yeah. But they are all together now in a single spot. One huge blow should see the end of them. <laughs> what is there to laugh at? Conan actually believes that I, the King of Shem, would serve him, a lowly barbarian. It is exactly what you will do. Perhaps. But only long enough to dispose of his Azul. Then, I will dispose of Conan. I have not yet decided whether to use a spell or a potion. What do you think, Panor? Neither. But the sword is not my weapon. You will do nothing to Conan. If we were to kill him, the people would not accept us as their leaders. They would revolt. Then how, may I ask, are we to come to power? Or have you changed your mind about that as well? We do it slowly. Carefully, a transition. You see, Conan would not be the kind of king that Zul was, right? He would be strong and disgustingly righteous. He is a barbarian, skilled with the sword, but unschooled. He might be able to conquer a kingdom, but he could never run one. Yes. And his only hope would be to acquire advisors and ministers. And who better than we three to advise him? A good plan. Yes. 
It is. There is only one thing that can cause it to fail. What? It is absolutely imperative for we three to be loyal to each other. For who else can we trust? Who indeed? King Conan. What a regal figure you are. What do you want, Carella? Why, I've brought you your morning feast, my dear king. Can't you tell? Such manners, so regal, so refined. Ha! Nobody ever taught me the ways of nobility. I am a warrior. That's not all you are. What do you mean? Horse thief, burglar. Should I continue? The truth doesn't hurt me. But it might hurt the king. If I were king, I would rule wisely and justly. The people would forgive me. Yes, they might. But what about a queen? A beautiful queen who could share your riches and rule your lands. Would she forgive you? Hope so. <sighs> Carella, you can't be serious. Oh, Conan, you've spent your whole life surrounded by warriors. Who better for a queen than someone who understands how a warrior thinks? Because she is one. And we will continue our battles into the bedchamber? Battling wasn't what I had in mind. I'll... Uh, have to think about it. You do that. You'd like to call out to her, wouldn't you? To greet her, to talk to her, wouldn't you? How they love to hear poetry recited. What woman's heart is not melted by the sound of finely formed words? There's always hope. Yes, I can do it. I can give you a voice. Not now, I must prepare. The zealing power of mine must be our secret. If the others found out, I would be deluged with request. And there is a limit to what even I can do. Conan, Otley, Bayou, this is just between you and me. Do you want your voice back or not? Then all I ask from you is for your trust and loyalty. Is that too much? You had some business at the River Pinor? As a matter of fact, Gerald, I did nothing that would concern you. There is too much jeopardy for it not to concern me. I was doing business that one usually does at a river. Are you sure that's all? I wish that there had been more. But at my age... <laughs> Do you remember what we said about loyalty? Without loyalty, there can be no trust. <laughs> my thought exactly. Conan! Conan! Coming up over the crest of that hill. Zul's men. They're coming back. How many? Too many. No, Zevin. Not this time. The wizard fooled them once. They won't be fooled twice.
Right now, it looks like Conan will never need our help. He is powerless when the time comes. And when will that time be? When he faces his Azu's castle and his magic. All right, Carella. They're all dead. You can come out now. What are you waiting for? You turn around! The things I do for you. Yes, things have changed a lot in the Black Kingdom these last few years. And when were you there last? Oh, <laughs> a long time ago, when your uncle was ruler. Why did you leave? I was a lowborn peasant. Uh, there was no future, no hope. And I was a little wild. I had to leave. We lost many like you during those times. Warriors. Scholars, men who could have been leaders. My uncle was a fool for not sharing his power. That is why he had to die. But tell me something. Are things that much better for you here? They are. <laughs> Yet it is Conan that leads. You are still taking orders. And I have no quarrel with that. Conan will make a good king. And you were too, given change. Here, or even back home in the Black Kingdom. Why are you telling me all this? Why all this free advice? Easy, my friend. I asked for nothing. This is a strange land for me. And for you too. One never knows when one will need a brother. I am not your brother. <laughs> oh, but your blood and your skin say something else. Like it or not, you are. You should not be having to do that. Why not? I'm the one that's thirsty. You should be granted the ability to reach it. Size. do you see me complaining? I use it to my advantage. How so? Let's just say that I'm often where no one thinks I am. Ah, the gift of obscurity. I never thought of that. That's probably because you haven't had as much time to think about it as I have. True, true, oddly. You are a brilliant fellow. If you were not, would Conan follow your advice the way he does? We've been through a lot together. Do not be modest. It is not the volume of experience, my friend. You have a gift, Otley, a gift to make up for the curse. Curse? I am not cursed. I thought you would appreciate plain speech. I appreciate conversation, not judgments. A voice like yours, Otley. Informed, shrewd. It should be heeded by more than just Conan. And we both know why it is not. The respect I gain is real. If people do not take me seriously, it is their problem. It does not have to be that way. Of course it does, and it should be. As a child grows, so can an adult. My height, it's impossible. Not with me. It is not necessary. I have the power. <laughs> I am not accustomed to being laughed at. I would think with a crown like that, you would be accustomed to it. Captain! Welcome. You've summoned me, my lord. Yeah. Tell me, how is it going? Our forces are split three ways. We continue to fight hard against the armies of our former allies. Yeah. Ingrates, all of them. Yes, my lord. But with just a little luck, our warriors will soon bring them to their knees. Luck? An element I have never had to rely on before. Poor choice of words. The advantage will soon be on our side again if I have any control over it. Huh? 
Come, have it some wine. Thank you, my lord. So tell me, Captain, when things are most difficult, have you ever considered deserting? Never. I have taken an oath, my lord. And you die before you broke that oath. As always. Good. Because you just have died. The drink, it's poison. You'll be dead in two days. No, no. No need for that. The poison did its work the moment it touched your lips. But why? Because of an order I may have to give you, and only a man with nothing to lose would carry it out. And the order? I have the means to destroy Argos and everyone in it, including myself. And that is what I will do rather than let Conan take the throne. Does it make sense to you now? So, have you thought about it? About what? About me becoming your future queen. Oh, that? Yes, that. I gave it some thought. And? Wouldn't you agree that a queen must be dignified? Of course. Good. So no more stealing. <laughs> Missed. What does business have to do with the future of me being queen? Everything. Besides, you're already a queen. Queen of thieves. <laughs> Conan, look what we found trying to escape from Argos. Captain, no less. There is only one kind of poison I know that shows few symptoms for the first few days, then suddenly kills. Yes, I sham root. I can test for it. Hashima, right? So he was telling the truth. So he is dying. I would not feel sorry for him. He should have known what to expect with someone like his Azul. I will tell Conan. Not yet. His Azul's poisoning his own men now, which tells me he's reaching for a plan. A defensive one. Indeed. Things are looking better and better for us. So our pact is all the more important. Are you still together with me on this, my friends? Of course we are. As always. Well, it appears my early medical training was not for naught. Get to the point. He has only one day, at most. Oh. Oh, I had hoped he was bluffing. <laughs> one day. What would you do with it? Women, food, drink, what would you do? I would know I had two choices. To die or to get revenge and then die. Revenge? But how? Help me to destroy his Azul by leading me into his fortress. thought to what we spoke about. I can help guide your fortune, you know. 
He would make you all powerful someday. All that I'm asking is that you speak to Conan on my behalf. And what is it that you're asking? Only to be by Conan's side, to support him, as you would support me. He will need my wisdom and experience to rule. Conan already has three advisors to choose from. Bio. Those other two, they're not our skin color. They're not our brothers. They're not even distant cousins. It makes no difference. There's still no kingdom for Conan to rule. The others are greedy and can either of them give you your voice back? I'm not asking you to betray anyone. I want to help Conan. And you too. I wish you had more time to think about it. Once Conan takes over, he'll have little time for me. Or you. We could do it later. But by then it'll be too late. Our friendship must work both ways. And a day from now, it may mean nothing at all. Still happy with your size, Utley? A person reaches adulthood thinking he must make do with what he has. But then this person learns this is not necessarily so. So then, why does not this person embrace his new destiny? Is he afraid? I am afraid of nothing. Then what? I'm curious. I understand things the way they are, the way I am. But they could be better. It is I who could look up to you. And I would look down on you. It could always be this way. And all it would take from you are a few words to Conan about me. What makes you think I want this? All men want what they cannot have. Think of it as a test. A test for me? Or a test for Conan and our friendship? Ah, but is he your friend? If Conan refuses an offer, that would give you the stature you deserve. What would that say about him? It would say that he knows me well. But do you know yourself? I want to go with you. What? Our future queen wants to join the battle? You haven't agreed to my bargain yet. And I'm still a warrior at the moment. Sorry. But the captain says the way to Hezazul's palace is long and narrow. Too many people would slow us down. One more warrior won't make the difference. You and your men stay here. I want you to keep an eye on our three new friends. That's not the reason why you don't want me to go, is it? I just said it was. No! There's another reason. You don't want to lose me. There might be another reason. <laughs> really? If you go to Argus first, you would rob the city clean. This tunnel will lead us to Zoom's chamber. He's always there, so don't... Poison. Maybe you should stay here. Conan, I have a good skin of brandy. I was saving it for a celebration, but... No. The only tonic I want is Zoom's blood. Zul had this tunnel built many years ago. It was to be his escape route. It hasn't been used. He still has his power. He'd rather destroy a whole population than admit to failure. We know. We're all part of that population. You're trying to run! Simon, go back 
wizards. Kona, we need the three wizards. We will go. Poisoned by Hizazu, and still loyal to him. Makes no sense. I the screams were deafening in there. I didn't even hear you say thank you. Next time, do what I say. If I did, the rats would be picking at your carcass right now. Karala, I told you several times. Conan! Just like they're married. How could they have allowed themselves to be ambushed like that? I'd ask, but they're all dead. As you will be shortly. You have wasted your life. Do not be concerned, sire. I've only lived to carry your orders. First, just tell me one thing. What is your name? My name is Atzmir. Atzmir. And what is your family name? My parents were Leonis and Priya. Their farm was near here. They are both dead. Yes, my lord. That will make your own death easier, and I will hear no funeral chanting. Even if they were alive, there would be no second thoughts. No. Then go! Go! were like that. Indeed. He said his mother's name was Creel. I once had a concubine by that name. It was the same person. Then do you suppose he could be my... His ability to be devious compliments you, sire. I'm sure that Creel thought the same. Ah. Does he know? Yes, but Priu made him swear never to tell her so. And why was that? She was afraid that the other heirs to your throne might target him for death. I have no heirs. Priu didn't know that. And you do have one heir, the one you just poisoned. Yes, of course. Him. Let us hope that his death will serve me well. Well, what happened? I'll tell you on the way. On the way where? We're going back to Argos. All of us this time. But, but... We must finish what we started. <laughs> By crop, now is the time. Now! Here! Oh. I fear. We're gambling with our own lives. What choice do we have? The choice is the hope that the three of us, together, will be strong enough to fight His Azul's magic. Oh, no. Let me come with you. Yes, you can come. Expect us to climb that? Unless you know how to fly, wizard. A sorcerer's illusion! This is all treachery! Nobody move! Scatter your powder to the wind!
a little further to go. Go! Go! I made no offer. Now be quiet, so I can stop the bleeding. He needs you more than ever now. What words of comfort will you say to him? Mario, go help him. But remember, he's just your friend, not your brother. Let this be the last time I have to address you this way. There's some wizardry I need from you. First to heal Karela, then to get me into his Azul's castle. <sighs> Why hasn't Conan been stopped? Has that worthless dog of a son betrayed me? Rise up and answer me. Is it more rubies you want? Take them. And may they do you as much good as they've done me. Now, rise up. He's a soon. Your head is mine! Wait? After all we did for him, now we have to wait to see him? Come forward, you three. We have won the war. What do you want as payment? Wealth has no meaning to us. All we ask is the opportunity to serve you. So be it. You three will be my advisors. With one of us, perhaps? Being the most favored? No, all equal. All equal. But I must say thank you for saving Carella. Anything for the future queen. There's no crown in her future. She will never change. And where is she? Carella left this morning. If she's on her way to one of your kingdoms, you will be lucky if anything remains. <laughs> I know, Zebin. 
They will be back. My brother. Those three made many promises. But none of you were drawn in, were you? No, we weren't. But why keep them around as allies? My friends, I always want you next to me. But them, I need just close enough to watch. Brothers, 